Hi, this is Jerry with I Love RV Life, and today we're going to do another very important yearly maintenance task that we do on our RV every single year without fail. Today, we are going to sanitize our fresh water tank. Well, hi, this is Jerry, and again, uh, this is going to be another yearly maintenance task. Very, very, very important. If you ever go to campgrounds to where you're having to use your water storage, you want to make sure you have a sanitized water tank. Uh, Joan and I did three months of winter travel this year, and surprisingly, we've got a winterized uh, four-season camper and we have blankets under our tanks to keep them from freezing and it really works. Um, and uh, we uh, had to use our water tank because of the water lines, even with, a, um, even with a water hose that had the tape in it to keep the water hose from freezing, the water faucet or the water spigot that we were connected to would freeze up. So we had to use, in the evenings when it was a little bit colder or much colder, we had to use our onboard water tank so that we would have drinking water, water to flush, and maybe a shower the next morning. So it's very, very important to have that uh, tank sanitized each year. Well, why? Why is that very important? Well, a couple things can happen. Uh, first of all, you can have something called algae growth. As a matter of fact, I had a, uh, a subscriber uh, to, uh, uh, to our channel here at I Love RV Life. And they said, look, we've got water coming out of our tank that is green. Oh, that's, that's trouble. If you're to that point, you've got a lot of algae in your tank. Uh, and that can make you ill. There's other things that can get in your tank as well. You can get bacteria. I've heard some people that said, you know, I don't worry. I don't ever drink this water. Um, I'll use water out of a lake or a stream or something like that. We just don't do that. I'm always afraid that we'll introduce some type of bacteria in our water line. And even if we don't drink it, somebody might accidentally brush their teeth or something like that. I don't want to use bottled water to brush my teeth. I don't want to be showering and worry about water getting in my mouth. So we always put water sources that we know are potable and um, that can be trusted. So something out of a campground that says that it's safe water or a gas station or um, some type of a location that we know that we're putting good water inside of our tank. But even though we're using good known water, you still have air that sits inside that tank and it can grow algae or it could potentially get bacteria from some source. So it's very, very, very important to sanitize your tank. It's very, very simple to do. It takes 24 hours and I'm gonna show you the process. The formula is very simple. I use one fourth of a cup, a quarter of a cup of generic household chlorine bleach per 10 gallons of storage, of water storage. So in my instance, I have a 40 gallon tank. That'll be four quarter cups, one cup. And then what I do, uh, just to make it simple and easy to manage and I don't get stuff splashed all over me because that chlorine bleach will just make a mess. I just get me a gallon milk jug, fill it full of water and I'll put my four quarter cups, my one cup of chlorine bleach, into the gallon tank, and then I'll show you, we'll place it inside here. Once I finish this, I'll fill up the water tank, I'll go inside, and then I'm gonna turn all my taps on. I mean, in the kitchen, in the bathroom, that would include my sink, my shower, and then just for good measure, I'll give the, uh, the the toilet a, a tap as well and get a little water out of there as well and then we'll go inside and I'll show you the details of that in just a minute. I've taken my chlorine bleach again quarter cup per 10 gallons in my water and then I've got one of these simple funnels here um, some people use these for oil or automatic transmission fluids and things like that in their vehicle I took this one I bought it at a I think I bought it at a Walmart and gave it a good scrub in the sink to make sure it was clean and, um, and I only use this for this purpose. This is just for water. And then I put this in the fresh water connection and then I'm just gonna pour this solution inside my tank. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do is um, fill up our tank. Now, I'll share this with you. This is a handy little thing I created. This is just a small little fitting with a little small length of 24 inch hose and I put a connector on it. This is great when you go someplace and you're trying to uh, fill this hose here and you end up 
trying to put the water hose inside that thing and the opening's too big and you just end up getting drenched. And this is just so handy. All right, let's fill up the tank. It's very important at this stage that you completely fill your water tank uh, for a couple reasons. One, you want to be able to dilute that chlorine. That chlorine is a very caustic and you don't want it undiluted sitting inside that tank. You don't want to cause any tank uh, possibly deterioration. Uh, diluting it this much, according to the manufacturers, will not cause any harm to your tank. So we're going to completely fill it up and then we're going to go inside and I'll show you what we'll do next inside. The tank is completely full of water. I'm going to go over and turn the water pump on. Again, this is not for the fresh water. This is for your water tank. Just want to stress that. And then I'm going to turn the tap on and I'm just going to uh, check for a strong scent of chlorine. It's going to be a little stronger than what you would typically smell on a city water supply. It'll be very distinctive. And then once I complete doing it on this sink, uh, I'm going to go up and do the bathroom, the tub, and the toilet. Okay, I can smell that chlorine now. And I'm going to do the hot water lines now. Now the instance here is I'm going to also be putting, I'm going to be filling up my uh, hot water tank. So I've got a, uh, a seven gallon tank. So this is going to take a few minutes. And then I'll let the hot water go until I smell the chlorine on that. We're getting a little air out. That's a good sign. Okay, I smell chlorine there. I'm going to go upstairs now and I'm going to do the bathroom. Then we're going to wait 24 hours, 24 hours, and we're going to come back tomorrow and we're going to drain our tanks and complete the process. So now that the 24 hours have passed and we've emptied the tanks outside and we've filled it again with fresh water, I'm going to turn the pumps back on. We're going to turn the sinks here in the kitchen and in the bathroom until we get that uh, that real chlorine smell out of the water and we'll have good fresh water in our tanks. This will take just a couple minutes uh, for the water to run and you can definitely tell when the when the change makes like right now we still I still have that chlorinated water in the system and uh, you can almost smell it coming out of the sink and uh, after you know four or five minutes of the pump running it will uh, it'll smell great again <laughs> and as diluted as it is in this stage it will not cause any harm to you um, if there's just a small amount of residue uh, left in the tank it won't cause you any harm it's probably no stronger than a city water supply as a matter of fact it's probably less than what you would find in a city water supply so I'm smelling it now and it's gone. It's a, it's, you, you can smell a slight hint, but after a day or two of use, it'll, it'll be completely gone. Um, I've had some people tell me that um, they'll mix a little bit of vinegar uh, in the tank to kind of subside the smell um, and counteract that chlorine bleach. And um, for me, I think that's just as bad smelling as what the chlorine is. So that really doesn't bother me that bad. And, and again, and again, it's smelling great. And I think we've got a good water supply. I'm going to go finish it up in the bathroom and that's done. So, so this is something you should do once a year. Um, it takes, I don't know, 24 hours, but the setup and the process of itself is probably about 15, 20 minutes to treat the tank and then the following day about another 15 or 20 minutes to uh, empty the tank, fill it back up again with fresh water, and then evacuate all the lines with that uh, uh, chlorinated treated water that you put inside the tank. I strongly, strongly recommend you do this once a year. It'll make sure that you have a good clean water system uh, free from algae and, uh, and give you a better chance of not introducing any bacteria in your tanks. 
And again, I love doing this type of stuff. I love sharing it with you. I uh, hope for you who are new to RVing or doing research on what you should be doing for RVing, you take this as a strong tip and visit the channel again for other things that we've done. We've got tons and tons of tips on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe uh, at the end and um, take a look around. Go to ilovervlife.com and uh, look at some of the uh, past blogs that we've had. We've got a number of things there. Uh, we have our uh, RV essential list that we have inside the, uh, the site that will uh, show you things that Joan and I purchase from time to time just to make RV life uh, more enjoyable. And as always, from Joan and from myself, we love RV life and uh, we hope that you'll come travel soon and love RV life too.